san konnichiwa what's up everybody instinctual in the house and i'm back with another music review video for a japanese album and it's my lady scandal right here and i'm coming back with so it feels awesome to be back making a video like this for all you guys out there in the world so thank you so much for watching the other videos that i've made about japanese music and uh, let's get started the uh, album i'm talking about today is the february 12th 2020 release by the band scandal Kiss from the Darkness, which looks a little bit like that. See the ladies right there. See the album cover I like right there. And we're going to get started. So, released on that date, it has two live stream concerts from the band that were, uh, that were released since the album came out. I've loved Scandal since I saw them at Anime Central 2015. And I've seen them live once since then in Dallas back in 2018. That's why I still have my little special thanks wristband right there, which I wear pretty much every day. I want to thank Scandal Heaven for pretty much all the lyrical translations as well. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. I really appreciate it. Track number one from Kiss from the Darkness is the song called Tonight. And if we go chronologically from the last track of the previous album, Honey, into the first track of this next album, we have two songs that flows together in a way that sends you from one dancey fit to the next. Uh, accentuated by the falling off of the final pronounced guitar notes of Questudo Universe uh, into the very first guitar notes that ever so delicately introduce this album and its first track. Uh, it makes for a very satisfying way to begin our journey through Kiss from the Darkness. Haruna's voice here is echoey, yet very direct, and its high-pitched timbre fits well and gives the song a lively punch throughout. The arrangement of instruments is superbly done as well, surrounding us as the listener in this layered invitation to lose yourself in the trance of spiffy disco-ish rhythms. The middle breakdown is nice, as it gives the song an extra layer of depth, which hints at more intensity later to come with the change of pace guitar parts. I really like what's going on in the background. The electronic noises, uh, as well as the subtle guitar work that you get major glimpses of at the very beginning and end of this track. Let's talk about the lyrics a little bit. Uh, one of the lyrics, uh, if I could love just like you, could I get closer to you? The night that I wondered that. The moon was full and my tears overflowed. What's the point? You sighed. Uh, your profile was so beautiful. Emerging as your words dissolved. I don't know what you've been through, but I want to be on your side. And after that, let's have the greatest romance of the century. These are really deep lyrics. They're beautiful, dealing with romance and a yearning for another and tonight. Uh, it seems the magic of love is in the air and its power could be enough to shake the earth itself. So, very powerful lyrics indeed. All right, so let's talk about the music video. Um, the video feels like a continuation of Koisudo Universe's video, as if Haruna has just woken up uh, after all the skipping around outside and hanging out with her bandmates. Uh, she's now going out for round two by herself, uh, just dancing on her own. It seems like there's a bit of a punk aesthetic as well, with the dancing and lighting it feels very in the moment. But there are some very beautiful shots mixed in, uh, like the ones on the bridge when Haru is walking by the water. Uh, I think the editing on this video is top notch and flows effortlessly with the song as it cuts from shot to shot, all in the right places. So that's track number one tonight. Track number two, Masterpiece. And uh, after the last few notes of tonight have rung out, we are then greeted by a chaotic menagerie of noises sandwiched between a loud shriek that would almost likely startle the average listener. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's an opening that really does provide a nice jolt of punk-style energy before Rena's drums hit fast and hard to unleash the gigantic mommy riff. Uh, Haruna's vocals are bright and confident in their delivery, and they are an absolute joy to listen to, even though I may not understand exactly uh, what she's saying. Uh, the energy bursting out of Masterpiece is infectious and inspiring. Uh, and I'm head over heels in love with how it makes me feel every time I get a hit of this blistering anthem. Uh, Rena's drumming is also some of her fastest, most in-your-face, kick-in-the-ass stuff percussion you've ever heard from Scandal's resident vlogger extraordinaire. It slams hard as the nuclear riffage showers us with energy. It's funny, the first time that I heard this song, I wasn't really super engaged by it. Uh, kind of just seemed like it was a arena rock song without the same sort of heart and innocence that a lot of the rest of their discography has. 
but I don't think that there's any song that has grown on me more than this one. And I find myself listening to it over and over again. Uh, eventually seeing the power of Mommy's extra fearsome riff and how the band comes together as one in a master play of superb technique and unbridled passion. Let's talk about the lyrics. These lyrics are some of my favorites I've heard from the band as well. Um, they go like, The time I've waited for is right now. I'll open a new door and a melody will melt my frozen heart. I'll hum it and send it to you too. We'll ride on the wind like flowers blooming in the season. Overcoming these countless days have turned your tears into gems. Let's pick up the wishes we left behind in the night and head towards that dazzling morning sun. What beauty, what hope in these lyrics. Uh, I'm deeply inspired by them. Uh, going from night to day to take the tears and convert them into gems. Such a powerful positive force that's being cultivated here in these lyrics. Here's more. Uh, I want to express, achieve, and protect. It's the truth. The future I strive for is just a little further ahead. I don't want to give in to my weakness. I'll reach for the light tens of thousands of times. Uh, I'm flying around the world and singing to you as I embrace the newborn joy that's overflowing in my heart. I'll overcome these countless days to be able to sing this masterpiece now. I love that part. I relate to these lyrics in a very personal way. And to grow with a band and see them feel the same feelings that you're feeling right now is just another level of empowerment and one that really sticks with you throughout your listening experience. So definitely, definitely love this song. Um, the music video takes an already super energetic song and combines it with a video that unleashes the four girls in an arena rock stage. It's kind of a scenario with huge colored LED lights, a few of speaker cabinets to give us, the viewer, a, a visual feast. The girls are all in different outfits uh, and hairstyles, which adds to this dynamic sort of quality as well, uh, with Haruna and Mami's outfits and hairstyles standing out the most. Uh, the editing, the camera movements, the framing of the girls in each shot, so skilled and meticulous and it comes together so seamlessly that it makes you feel like you're in the crowd, just rocking along with the girls. It really does immerse you in a very powerful way. It's awesome. But overall, this music video shows maturity and growth. Uh, these are not schoolgirls anymore. Uh, these are women who stand on their own and not only survive but thrive in their own skin uh, as the fact that they're on their own label now. So it's amazing. These ladies are rocking with the power and strength of any other band. And it's this collective masterpiece of a song with great lyrics and great video that make this a standout track, not only on this album, but in their entire discography as well. So masterpiece, two thumbs up for that. We then come to track number three, and it starts in a pure garage rock kind of way, with an array of frayed guitar notes and a straightforward drum beat that combine to formulate this rawness, which immediately catches your attention and makes for a satisfying contrast from the more polished arena rock sound we just heard from Masterpiece. Haruna's vocals then come in, in a somber, stoic, in the face of something weighing her down kind of way, uh, but then pick up a bit when the guitars pick up um, the pace along with the drums to create a beautiful, grungy frenzy of music. Chorus then hits and it soars with a dark, loving energy from Haruna's understated, breathy vocals to Mami's grungy, fuzzy guitar to Rina's bombastic drumming. It's freaking blissful and cathartic and romantic, all spiraling off at once. Mami's solo during the bridge captures much of that as well, uh, matching the melody in an expected way, giving us what we want from the solo, but making us feel like we've heard something special, especially with Rena still crushing in the background with those drum beats. I also appreciate the bit of Tomomi's bass we get spotlighted, if only f for a few seconds. Uh, and of course, Haruna's scream at the end is one of her most emotional, moving, singing parts she has ever had the opportunity to make. And that kind of passionate yell from her, man, uh, it really felt good to hear it um, after all that time. I was waiting for it, waiting for her to just go for it, and she totally did on this on this song. She just did a great job with that that note. Uh, so kudos to, to Haruna for making that vocal leap. You go, girl. Uh, some of the lyrics. How long will these feelings last? That's not something I'm worried about today. It feels like I know everything and nothing at the same time. I blame it on the fuzzy signs of summer. Exhaled smoke and uncertain love are being inhaled and disappearing. The things I couldn't say to you kept increasing due to us growing up. So it seems that the lyrics talk about a relationship between two people, um, an uncertain love, 
and one that seems to be turning more and more unstable as the both of them are growing up. Uh, these lyrics really fit the tone of the music quite well. Uh, once again with Haruna's somber and stoic voice and Mami's more mature guitar sound as well. Uh, some more lyrics. I want to keep staying by your side forever. The sun and the moon overlap where they interchange. I want to keep loving you forever. Ah, it's hot, ephemeral, and beautiful. I want to keep staying by your side forever until the day a dazzling light takes away the present. I want to keep loving you forever. Ah, it's bitter, painful, and dear. So it's a bittersweet romance, it seems, as the narrator laments this bitter, painful circumstance that may be straining this one's beautifully cohesive relationship. Uh, and these lyrical themes of romance gone awry are expanded upon even more during the music video. So the music video for Fuzzy starts out a little different than most any other Scandal video. Uh, by featuring actors in a narrative space rather than featuring members of the band itself, which I thought was a really interesting and great way to break things up for a formula the band has been using for many years. Uh, it's really cool to see this couple walking through Japan and seeing all the signs on the shops in the background. It really makes you want to go back as the framing and color grading of the scene seems straight out of an independent film. The cuts of the band in between the scenes of the couple are great and lively, uh, with a raucous element that matches the energy of the music very well. I also love the camera movements, angles, and quick cuts during the performance footage as well. Uh, it's very aesthetically pleasing. Also, side note, Mommy's blue hair with her blue guitar and blue cabinet setup, mwah, que magnifique. Things seem to change though when this guy gets off the couch and the girl starts to feel super lonely, as you can tell by all the shots of her being alone in despair. Something has most certainly gone wrong. Obviously with the lyrics we know that these two people are growing apart due to growing up and that this may be just a summer romance. And that may be the reason why this video really doesn't go into detail as to why this relationship is breaking down. Um, this is overall a fantastic video and one that could probably stand on its own even without Scandal's involvement based on the shots, editing, and actors involved. I do wonder about the final scene though, whether we're led to believe the young woman tries to die or is just venting her frustrations by submerging herself in water for a time being. I guess it's left up to you to decide. I'd like to think she makes it out, but I guess uh, we don't really know. An excellent video nonetheless. Track number four is Saishu Heiki Kimi, translated to you, comma, the ultimate weapon. So after the bottled, ambiguous nature of a fuzzy relationship, we get a jolt of energy blasted into our ear canals, a thumping beat to dance to, and a woo to really set us off on a laser shooting musical adventure. The band describes this as a more experimental song with a strong Western image and that comes through as Haruna's vocals come in with an auto-tune effect that Scandal has never really used before to my knowledge. It certainly gives Sai Shu Heiki a more plastic sheen and a more top 40 feel, like it's being produced by a big hip-hop artist. I love the fact that Scandal is able to consistently push themselves in new directions, and that always has me coming back for more. The guitar Mami uses sounds big and bright, blasting forth like a laser cannon with every roadblock in her sights. Pew pew! And man, Rena is crushing it with those drums as well. She's coming in fast and furious. The chorus has a nice up and down quality like you're riding this wave and it matches up with the guitar tone really well too. It's just such a nice groove, you can't help but move to it, you know? Uh, you can tell these ladies are having a ton of fun with this song uh, and are just letting it all hang out with a happy-go-lucky dance vibe uh, after getting deep into the emotions of Fuzzy. This song feels like a much needed diversion of joy so the placement of the track where it works here is just great. Let's talk about the lyrics. The lyrics here are great and match the super upbeat and positive vibe of the song as well. Your ultimate weapon is you. Envisioning the perfect image in the end, it's you, you, you. Your ultimate weapon is you. Doing things unlike anyone else in the end, it's you, it's you. Shoot your hopes free. So building off the title, yes, you are indeed the ultimate weapon. Uh, it's you, it's you, it's you. You have the power to be the driving force in your life to achieve great things. So do it. Don't wait around expecting life to get better on its own. You are the one that's locked and loaded with all your hopes and dreams, so let's get it. More lyrics. Now racing ahead, now falling behind. Where are you now? Wanting to know what's ahead, you've cried day after day. Don't give up on today if things aren't going right, because it's still worthwhile. Don't give in. 
So here, Scandal is recognizing that life has its ups and downs. You can't give up on yourself because there are still great moments to come. And it's because of lyrics like these that I've come to really love this band. Over time, as they constantly encourage us to keep going and stay positive for who we are. The ultimate weapons in our own lives. The music video. The music video is super fun and the first thing I noticed about it were the exaggerated colors that really make the images pop off. As Haruna is coming in like a boss, uh, it's really cool to see Haruna taking up the mic. And I could definitely get used to her doing that more often, being featured in that way. Uh, I love that kind of energy from her, it really adds a special quality to the performance. The backdrops are really cool and bring out the grittiness and DIY aesthetic, uh, even more with a pool hall, a race car garage, and some random apartment, uh, eventually zooming out to this entire soundstage. Um, with concrete flooring and a giant wall of windows that lets in a gorgeous amount of natural light. Uh, I just get this big old swaggy vibe from the ladies in this video as well. Uh, like they are owning the moment and are super comfortable in their own skin. They are dancing around free and easy with nothing standing in their way. There's a moment during the bridge where each woman brings out their own individually colored smoke. And it's really cool to see them dance around with it and spread that smoke like an extension of themselves as individuals with the different colors, but also, I believe, as a collective, since those colored clouds of smoke can blend together and be beautiful as one large multicolored cloud. So it's just a great collection of colors and scenes, and it just all comes together really well. So it's awesome, another awesome video from this, from this album. So let's talk about track number five, uh, Laundry Laundry. And after all that colorful imagery, we get all cleaned off with this next track. It starts with washing machine sounds, which makes sense considering the title, and the next beeping noise after that brought back memories of the opening beep of the Seether's song Remedy, which is like So I kind of got that vibe coming from the very beginning of the song. But then after that, this song is nothing like Seether's Remedy, because it's a soft, gentle song, similar to how a dryer handles delicates, I suppose. Uh, this is a Tomomi song which had her writing the music and lyrics, and when her soft tender vocals come in with her unique sound, it's truly comforting. It's just basically her chilling doing the laundry, so totally works. Now, I really like how all the other ladies' instruments build around the original bass line of uh, Tomomi, and uh, the guitar solo is just very beautiful. Uh, it's an energizing boost to the bridge that just feels so refreshing as it soars through the speakers of your local laundromat. The end of the song is really welcoming as well, with the tambourine and all the mixture of sounds, the chill vibe creates is wonderful and blissful all at the same time. Let's talk about the lyrics. When I squint at the light streaming through the window, the blue sky seems to be completely ignoring me. I'm shedding off and throwing out this one-out husk. I'll wash it in pure white as if it's brand new. Laundry, laundry. I'll clean off all the stains, along with the many mistakes and the warmth of that person's hand. Laundry, laundry. A gentle wind blows softly. My t-shirts and tears will forever be swaying. So in this sense, Tomomi seems to be wanting to clean not only her clothes, but her ever-loving soul. She's shedding her skin and looking for a new outlook on life. Awesome. I think many of us can relate to those feelings as well. A cleaning out of the things that hold us back, and folding them up, and putting them away for a while. I really like that metaphor. It's a really nice one to remember. So, on to track number six. This is Neon Town Escape. Uh, this is a song that is written by Haruna and with help from the arrangement of her friend Chiaki Sato. It starts out with a raucous drum section that caught my attention right away, uh, which is followed by some cool guitar electronic sound I can't exactly identify, but they do make it feel like you are taking a stroll down the neon streets of Shinjuku. The straightforward drum beat combined with Haruna's downplayed vocals make for a head-bobbing, go-with-the-flow experience for sure. The track really picks up steam when the horns come in, as Haruna's voice gets louder and more pronounced, causing the energy of the song to rise in a very pleasant way. This continues for a while, as the drums follow and the guitars provide a nice accompaniment, and it's just a groovy sort of collection of sounds that brings you to the fade out of a super funky guitar riff in a general sort of feeling that this is Scandal being relaxed, and letting it loose, and just doing what they want to do with their music. As there's no concrete ending to the song, there's a beautiful crossfade into the nether verse, which is pretty cool. Let's talk about the lyrics. As if stirring up our brimming feelings, the night breeze blows. 
and the pale blue moon shines on us before midnight. Let's keep running through the night and escape into the noisy neon background. We're out of breath. Let's go anywhere. Hey, hold me tight. The feeling of our connected hands grows warmer and warmer. It's so comfortable. We don't mind the crowds of people on the car horns. I absolutely adore these lyrics because of how they paint such a descriptive picture of a big city romance between two people on what I imagine to be a warm summer night. More lyrics. Wandering in and out of this maze-like city, what's wrong? Whisper to me. Kiss me gently. If I'm with you, I'm not scared of anything. Once again, there's a lot of exploration in these lyrics, and some of it also has to do with the relationship these two lovers have. In this neon town escape, these two cannot escape their problems fully, and they will have to address them if this relationship is going to continue. But yeah, the imagery of the neon lights of Tokyo or Osaka and the fast-paced evening of entertainment uh, around them really caught my attention for sure. Okay, track number seven. Okay, that's going to be Ceramic Blue. Uh, according to Wikipedia, it's a love song that Mommy wanted to put a twist on by depicting the uneasiness and insecurities of being in love. Mommy chose the word ceramic because she wanted something that was strong, but it could break easily to represent this insecurity. Lovely. The song starts out so good with just the guitar and Haruna's voice, and when the voice of one of the other girls comes in, followed by the dropping in of bombastic percussion, it's just a magical experience uh, that we found ourselves in with an exhilarating rush of sound. And it's followed by some beautiful guitar work that matches the intensity of the previous audio connection to perfection. I just love the freaking rhythm of this song. Uh, it just pulses out like a subway train in a busy evening as the city lights stroll past. You just, you don't just hear it, but you really feel it. And it's that what makes this song a really powerful and bright and beautiful song. This next section of interplay between Haruna's vocals and what I believe to be Mami's guitar is more of that focused driving energy, which is a great lead into the chorus that pushes Haruna's vocals into the higher register in a most beautiful way. The guitar work is super solid and upbeat the rest of the way, and combined with Rina's frenetic drumming to send us off feeling uber satisfied, tasting the sweet decay of the guitar fading off into the ever loving distance. Well done. Some lyrics. You called out my name on an ordinary day. I called it happiness. I hope tomorrow is just as festive. It's so sickeningly comfortable. Being in your arms, there's nothing else like it in the world. Something secret, something true. I can't see both as being the same. It feels like I'm lost in the deep sea. No one knows what lies beyond this never-ending point. I feel as though this song is called Ceramic Blue partly because love can break apart at any moment and yet can feel strong at the same time. And according to Wikipedia, of course, that does seem to be the case. It is this bubbling uncertainty about a relationship's foundation that could cause a significant fracture in the work of art that is two people in love. And these lyrics certainly foster that sort of cautious optimism as well. All right, what's up, y'all? Thank you so much for watching part one of my thoughts on Scandal's album Kiss from the Darkness. If you like that uh, part one, leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and also check out part number two, which you can see clicking right here um, in this box. So yeah. Hopefully you'll finish it and uh, let me know what you think of that one too. Alright, peace out for now y'all.